students let us continue the lesson gone are the days where women in india remained indoors unless permitted to go out with an escort conditions today have changed thanks to all those women who have fought for their freedom and set a very good example for others the real power of women though really realized earlier is currently being projected to the world by the advancement of technology and media students what do we understand in this passage in the past women could not go easily out of their houses they could not go anywhere wherever they wanted to go the women in the past it could not go out so they needed escort escort means a person who is uh, uh, who travels with somebody in order to protect them so in the past women needed some protectors some people who always want who always who are always protect protecting them but conditions today but what is the condition of today it is changed thanks to because of all those women who have fought for their freedom so many women fought for their freedom so they were fighting for their freedom they said they need we need freedom so that because of their effort continuous effort because of their fight for the freedom of women and they have now set a very good example for others so because of their effort because of their fight now the situation is changed the situation is not like in the past the women today can go anywhere wherever they want to go so the situation is changed in the modern times the real women power of women though realized really so even in the past uh, the country the society understood the power of women even though the society understood the power of women but it is now currently being projected to the world but it is being showcased so now only the entire world uh, comes to understand the real power of women through advancement of technology and the media advancement of technology and the media are, are very helpful in knowing about the real power of women in the modern times so this is what we understand in the passage let us go to the next passage women occupy almost all the major major positions in society currently women's accomplishments are tremendous in many fields so accomplishments accomplishments mean means achievements accomplishments na sadhanegal achievements so they are tremendous so they have achieved very big tremendous very large so they have achieved very big in many fields so in all the fields they have done a lot of achievements currently presently one such achievement is the all women indian navy crew who circumnavigated the world for 254 days all alone in a sail boat called INSV Tarani so so one am one of the achievements so women in the modern times have achieved a lot of things they have achieved many things in many fields in all the fields so one of the achievements one of the achievements is the all women the all women indian navy crew so six men members of the indian navy circumnavigated so they traveled all over the world for 254 days circumnavigate circumnavigate means to to sail all the way around the world so to sail on a boat especially on a boat in a sail boat is it possible to travel for 254 days in a sail boat no it is not at all possible because while traveling at sea especially at night time even if it is a day time they are all traveling alone so nobody is there with them so that they, may, they there are so many possibilities for them to face a lot of dangers in the midst of the sea so they are traveling in a sail boat 
द नेम ऑफ द सेल पोर्ट इज आई एन एस वि तारणी ई एन एस वि तारणी इज द नेम ऑफ दट सेल पोर्ट सो ऑन दट सेल पोर्ट दे आर सर्कम नेविगेटिंग द वर्ल्ड दे आर दे आर ट्रावलिंग ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड फॉर टू फिफ्टी फोर दैट इज द बिगस्ट अचीवमेंट दट इज दैट इज द बिगस्ट अचीवमेंट बिकॉज that is done by women so if that achievement was done by men it is not a, we need not to think much but that achievement is done by women it is not possible for women to travel uh, around the globe for 254 for days in the sea let us uh, go to the next passage what is in sv tarani so in these passages we can understand the Uh, sailboat name of the sailboat insv tarani insv what is insv tarani it's also a two mark question what is in what does insv stand for that is a textual question so at your free time study the question what is insv tarani insv stands for indian naval ship vessel insv stands for i stands for indian n naval a stands for ship and v stands for vessel tara tarani is a patron deity deity means god deity means god for sailors so it's a tara tarani it's a god it's a god patron means a person who gives money and support so the tara tarani tara tarani is the god the sailors consider tara tarani as their god that god gives the sailors support that god gives the sailor support that's why as the uh, god tara tarani supports the sailors all the sailors uh, worship tara tarani as their god as their god and is worshiped for safety because of safety and for safety and success at the sea so when they were traveling in the middle of the sea uh, nothing danger should happen to that sailors for that purpose they worship that god for safety and success at the sea ins with thought tarni is a second sail boat of the indian navy the first one was ins v magade this is second one ins with tarni is a second one ins v uh, magade is the first one first one sail boat this uh, insv tarni it's a 55 foot sailing vessel built indigenously 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 means uh, in originating originating in india okay so the indian uh, it is prod- produced in our country india by uh, ms aquarius shipyard private limited located in goa so that company has made this this uh, 55 foot sailing vessel uh, after undergoing extensive sea trial so after th- after the thorough examination thorough examination about that boat suppose the boat uh, sail boat should work cont- work properly because if there is anything danger happens in the middle of the sea then the sailors cannot uh, do anything at that time because they nobody will be there with them at them at the time so that after the thorough examination of the sail fort she was commissioned to the indian navy service on 18 february 2017 so on 18 february 2017 that pose was, that uh, sail boat was handed over to the indian navy service indian navy service also recognized it a very good quality sail boat the boat was named after the famous tara tarani so temple tara tarani temple in kanjam district of odisha so there is a famous temple in the district kanjam in odisha so that name was it was given that name after the boat so uh, it was named tara tarani after the for that boat the word tarani means boat tarani means boat and in sanskrit it means savior 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 means i can i think you know the meaning savior means the person who saves one's life is called the savior in in christianity jesus called is often considered the savior because he saved the people entire world 
by giving his by giving his uh, life to the for the well being uh, well being of the people so that jesus is uh, known as savior so here also tarani means boat and in sanskrit it means savior tarani uh, it's a savior boat okay the boat that saves the sailors or the boat that saves those who are traveling on that boat this is what we understand in the two passages INV Torni has advanced ray marine marine navy navigation suite and an array of satellite communication systems for perfect navigations anywhere in the world so such a wonderful uh, technological equipments or communication systems are available in that INSV Torni boat so we can easily communicate the persons who are in the who are traveling in that boat so no such a very good highly quality uh, techno advancement is not available in the world such a uh, uh, quality boat it is insv torani so there are so many advancement so so many technological facilities features uh, available in that boat there are two questions also when was insv torani commission to indian navy service when was Uh, in which the army commission day uh, you can see in that uh, previous passage that is on 18 february february 2017 that is the keyword key answer for that uh, question so insv tarani was commissioned to indian navy service on 18 february 2017 this is the answer if you write the answer you will be given full mark and also one other question who is tara tarani after whom was the sailboat named so you know tara tarani is the uh, patron deity god and we saw everything in the uh, tarani means boat in sanskrit it means savior so we saw that that is the answer you saw that in the previous passages let us go to the next passage navika sagar parikrama was a project so the name of this project is navika sagar parikrama undertaken in consonance with the national policy to empower women to attain their full potential so based on the national policy so this project was undertaken it was done it was carried mainly to empower women you know empower empower means to make women a powerful person to empower women to attain to get their full potential so by making women involved in this kind of very difficult activities so the main objective is to uh, empower women to attain their full potential so women gala romba powerful person a pen gala powerful persons a maatano abdingra or objective oda abdingra or periya nokathoda da in the project central government government of india in the project panirukranga so women oda empowerment velila kondu varanum to in order to showcase the in order to reveal the empowerment of women women empowerment of women to the world the project is considered essential very important essential means very important towards promoting ocean sailing activities in the navy while depicting government of india's thrust for nari shakti that means women power so the main objective of this project is to uh, to showcase the empowerment of women to showcase the empowerment of women said chief of the naval staff admiral sunil lanba in his welcome speech so in his welcome speech the uh, chief of that naval staff said this in that uh, welcoming meeting before the project was started the why let us go to the next passage the voyage was aimed to showcase make in india initiative by sailing on board indigenously built insv torani the special feature of this sailboat is that it encouraged the use of environment friendly non conventional renewable energy resources such as the wind collected and updated meteorological ocean and wave data on regular basis for accurate weather forecast by india meteorological department 
and also collect data for monitoring marine pollution on high seas so what is in this patches what we can understand it is uh, told about the purpose of this voyage so within india within india we have to produce a very quality boat like this uh, based on this principle and also based on this purpose the boat this project is taken undertaken and there are so many features within this boat in the boat ku la nariya serappu amsangal nariya irukku there are features special things in this uh, according so which is suitable to the environment uh, which is suitable to the environment and there are renewable resources also energy resources also and uh, while traveling uh, at sea uh, the main uh, challenging thing is wind okay so uh, wind is a very uh, threatening factor while traveling at sea so uh, there are so many features in this uh, boat uh, to fight against the wind so katra samalichu poruke takana nariya special ana features la inda idhil irukku and also uh some data collection also where is the boat uh, uh, in order to know that detail and uh, what about the condition of the boat so in order to know all these details there are so many features available in this boat that is what we understand in this 